Hi everyone, Renee here. So this video is going to be all about my favorite skincare couplings, the dynamic duos that I feel work even better together than they do separately. So these tend to be formulas that just really boost each other's efficacy and results. So it's always good to take into account that many of the combinations I'm talking about today that work really well together do involve active ingredients where it's always better to have a cautious approach. I personally like to introduce concentrated active formulas one by one and always phased in. When it comes to age defensive or reparative skincare, the most important combination of formulas you need to have are an antioxidant in the morning like vitamin C, sunscreen, and a retinoid at night. Everything else can be built around these three formulas to support them and to enhance their performance. Let's talk about retinoids, specifically the stronger, more concentrated retinols, adapalene or prescription retinoids like tretinoin. These can cause many side effects for a lot of us, especially when we start using them. If you're someone with very sensitive skin and you always felt that maybe some of these stronger prescription retinoids were just off limits for you, a very underrated partner for these stronger retinoids that can really help in alleviating those side effects when you start off is azelaic acid. A good formula really helps with skin reactivity and redness. Prescription formulas that are known to work are usually 15 to 20 percent and it will also help dial down your sensitivity in your skin over time. So pre-treating your skin over a period of time with azelaic acid will help your skin be more prepared and more tolerant to retinoids. I would definitely caution you not to start azelaic acid and retinoids at the same time because it can be really too strong. Azelaic acid it also has to be a phased in treatment as well. Another combination I have frequently gushed about is niacinamide and retinoids. While a concentrated azelaic acid is something that's good to use before you start your retinoid journey or move on to something more intense, niacinamide is something that's great to use together with it. I use them both in the same routine. I will use my niacinamide serum first, followed by my retinoid. And especially when you're starting out and making sure everything is phased in, niacinamide used together with TRET really helps kind of temper any potential bad retinizing side effects because it is such a powerful ingredient in just reducing inflammation and calming everything down. At the same time though, I think the ingredients work together to enhance the results. The areas that tend to be more porous and a little more orange peel-like, those just kind of became a lot more refined in texture and I felt like the pores looked a lot less obvious. A relationship that came as kind of a surprise to me but a really good one is LED and green tea. So a study came out, which I will link down below, it was linked in my LED video as well. But after exposing people for two months to extreme oxidative stress, cotton pads that were soaked with green tea were placed on the skin for 20 minutes a day. So it's kind of like a makeshift mask. Then after the 20 minutes and removing the pads, they had an LED treatment using 670 nanometers of red light. And the results were kind of stunning after doing this every single day for a month. Month, they found that in one month they got equivalent results to just using um, an LED treatment for 10 months. There was a general skin rejuvenation, a decrease in wrinkles, and also a more juvenile complexion. You could do this by either brewing your own green tea, I will put the specifications in the study, or I just like to use one of my favorite essences of all time, which is Amore Pacific Single Vintage Extract Essence. This is 100% green tea and a very potent brew, more potent than anything I could probably um, come up with. This was all picked at first harvest and was fermented for 100 days just to even make it more potent. These two are my more budget-friendly favorites. You've heard me gush about the Isentree Green Tea Toner quite a few times now um, and also this one from Benton. I did an Instagram post um, reviewing these toners so I will link that down below. If you're familiar with my morning skincare routines, then you may have noticed that the theme, and this has always been the theme, is protection. Using antioxidants with sunscreen will give you more protection than just using sunscreen alone. In fact, there have been studies, particularly with L-ascorbic acid, vitamin C, that this can actually boost the protective effects of 
any sunscreen. The combination has also worked to be better at diminishing the signs of existing photo aging. For pigmentation, in particular erythema, just evening out the skin tone and just a brighter complexion, a very powerful combination is vitamin C and azelaic acid. L-ascorbic acid was a real game changer for me. It gave me a noticeably brighter complexion, but also the glow. Azelaic acid really levels up and enhances those results if you feel that you just need more. In fact, I would say this is a particularly effective combination for anyone who's going through a post-acne period. So if you're no longer breaking out, but you're just left with all those red acne marks, then this accelerates the fading of those marks. So I've had my fair amount of mask knee, not just around my jaw, but also around like areas like my nose or anywhere that, where there are folds in my face. I will use my vitamin C and I will follow it with an azelaic acid treatment. But I actually spot treat. I don't put it all over my skin. I will use it on just the areas where I feel I've got a lot of that red scarring, which also happen to be the areas where I consistently break out. So azelaic acid is really good at even preventing those further breakouts from reoccurring. If your skin can't tolerate l ascorbic acid for whatever reason, or if your skin is just very, very sensitive, then another combination that works effectively is niacinamide and azelaic acid in the same routine. Especially if redness or sensitivity is an issue for you, or you have very reactive skin, then this combination is pretty unbeatable. I personally love this combination. I can tell you it works. In fact, uh, many of you know this was in my compounded tretinoin formula. So it was tretinoin, niacinamide, and um, azelaic acid together. I used that combination for about a year and a half and it really took my skin to another level. Dr. Sam's Brightly also combines 10% azelaic acid with 5% niacinamide and this is a really effective formula too. A powerful combination for those with acne prone skin would be salicylic acid and azelaic acid. When used together, these can really help combat oncoming cycles from comedones all the way to more preventing more inflamed hormonal acne. Azelaic acid is not just anti-inflammatory, but it's also antibacterial. So it really helps to prevent acne bacteria from forming and escalating inflammation. Salicylic acid also has analgesic properties and is really good at getting into the pore and just keeping it congestion free, build up free, so bacteria doesn't have anything to feed off of. The added bonus is the combination is also great at just alleviating the red acne marks that are left behind as well. This can actually be a little drying for those of you with drier skin types. It's good for oily skin, but it can actually be a bit drying. You do want to be cautious. You know, you really don't want to use these every single day if your skin can't tolerate it. So really just maybe a few times a week, a couple of times a week to start for sure. I will either use a gentler salicylic acid cleanser and then spot treat with this, or if I use a toner, then I only use that maybe like a couple of times a week. Definitely do a phase and approach because you may not need as much or as often as you think. So these are my favorite dynamic duos in skincare that I have felt my personal experience have worked really effectively together and have just kind of leveled up, you know, um, performance and results. This doesn't necessarily mean you need two separate products because there are formulas that effectively combine um, these ingredients. It's just in general, this is what you might want to look for. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'm wishing you great skin health. Bye.